Josh Parker and Ashley Wise think they're playing it smart with sunscreen. I use it anytime I go outside and usually use between at least 35 or higher. Yeah, I'm the same way. Every time I go out, um, 30, 35, and 50 if I can. Those high numbers may not be providing any added protection. The Food and Drug Administration is rewriting the rules on sunscreen, trying to block out misconceptions. The new guidelines target labels, but the focus is on consumers, educating them so they know exactly what they're getting. I think there's a lot of uh, products being sold and a lot more money being paid for these products uh, than is necessary. As for claims sunblock, sweatproof and waterproof, See you later. Manufacturers can only claim water resistant or broad spectrum if the product protects from both UVA and UVB rays. As for the sky high SPFs, 50 is the limit. It's even lower if the brand makes additional safety claims. I think science has only shown really that the SPF factor of 15 uh, offers the protection from the sun. Uh, for the purposes of preventing skin cancer and uh, accelerated skin aging. So no more unproven promises. I always try to go higher though, just to make sure. <laughs> Delivering only a false sense of security. Uh, to some degree that's uh, hopeful thinking. The most intense claims are now coming from the FDA. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.